da, da, da. It's Miss Jackie Ina. It's the Jackie Ina palette, okay? So this is a little tote that it comes in. Very Xenon, Zetus Lapidus. Ooh, these cicadas, girl, shut up. They so loud when they fucking. It's really hot right now. I'm in Palm Springs with a bunch of white gay men, so. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine. When you're not really fine, but you just can't get into it because they would never understand. Drinking some strawberry margaritas. This is the little PR box that it comes in. So sorry, that is so uh, whitewash in the background, but yeah, this little PR box, isn't that so cool? Oh my gosh, look at the bottom. <laughs> Don't mind her. Hopefully this bag doesn't melt on this table. Inside the box, you get oh, the palette, which is wrapped inside of another box. And then once you open this box, well first it says Jackie Iron on the back, y'all see that? Ooh. Jackie is on an Anastasia palette. She got her own Anastasia palette. And honestly, this came really out of left field for me because I really didn't know that they were working together like that. Needless to say, I'm very Shookington, which is the color we may or may not use today. I think we're probably gonna dig into her. If I can just get the box open. The actual palette isn't um, holographic like this, but it's more iridescent, like shimmery, shiny. And I believe this is alligator skin. Correct me if I'm wrong. So today's video isn't really gonna be a review. It's just me ex experiencing the palette because I'm biased. I also really love Jackie Ina, so I'm just gonna give my opinions on this and tell you guys how I feel and just, you know, play around with the makeup. So this is her on the inside. Ooh, ah, uh, yes, mmm, look at that. Smooth, buttery colors. I'm not doing any swatches. I'm just gonna be putting it straight on my eye, so let's do this. It's really hot out, in case you didn't know already. I may move inside because this is truly the ghetto. So there is a substantial amount of pinks, purples. We got some reds and greens. So you got a little bit of everything. You got your neutral looks. Okay, you got your cute pink looks. You've got your purpley looks. You've got your pink purple looks. You've got your maroon looks. You've got your golds and your bronzes, okay? Um, and everything else in between. Bitch, what are you doing back there? A white gay ghost that's haunting me. So Jackie's favorite, I know, is pinker. She loves to go into that color first, but I'm a little scared of her. I'm gonna coordinate each eye with each color of my hair on each side. So this side's gonna be pink and this side's gonna be purple. I guess we can just start with Supreme. Um, this color, I was pleasantly surprised by. It is like the perfect pastel pink on me on dark skin and just blend that with this Morphe E28 and bring that towards the bottom. It was like the beautifulest little pastel blush pink I've ever had on me. She really came out with the perfect pastel pink for the kawaii black girls. Like, I don't even think she knows it, but she did. And I'm so happy about it. I'm gonna go into Big Wig and we're gonna do the same thing on the other eye. So right now I'm in Palm Springs because my friend Yason is having his 17th birthday party. Happy birthday, Yason. He's now officially a man of a particular age. Why not celebrate it in the place where all gays go to live out the rest of their life? This house is really nice. I don't know if y'all see, but like there's a bunch of pools and shit back there. I'll show y'all later. This is bougie. This is nice. A whole could get used to this. Now I'm gonna go into Pinker. I'm just gonna deepen that crease a little bit. We go deeper her up maroon her down just keeping it to that outer V and bringing it up towards the center of our crease like that I hope y'all can see this this is gonna be such an ugly video so I switched angles I just did it for everyone it looks so much better don't we look so much better so there isn't a pastel purple in this but whatever we can definitely make do I'm just gonna go into Shookington with my finger mmm so beautiful oh my god and I'm gonna apply that on the center of my lid and blend it oh my god I blended it a little too far okay blending it on top of big wig actually turned out to be a really good thing. I'm actually really enjoying her. Maybe I'll just do one big ass shimmery eye. Y'all having a good time over there? Being loud? And I'm gonna add a little bit more big wig right back into that crease area just to deepen her up a little bit. Just blend that, just a tidge. So there is no pink shimmer in this. The closest thing I know is wigglies, but I feel like that's a little bit too red. Hell, let's try that. Let's try a little bit of her down the center of the lid. So pretty blending it out with the finger like what? Girl, by the time I finish this makeup, I will have sweated it off already. I'm gonna add a little bit of Zam on top of it. I want to see what happens. Turn into this like really coppery orange. Add a little bit more Supreme on top of that just to see if I can get some pink back in that situation. A little wigglies on the lash line, on the bottom lash line. A little Shookington on that bottom lash line. Blend that with big wig on this side. Pinker 
on this side. What should be our inner corner highlight? Hmm, we have so many. We've got some greens like dollars. Let's try and use dollars. Oh, that's so nice. Dollars is it. Ooh, it's getting loud on this side, huh? Yeah. Yeah, go ahead, girl. Come on through. Is that your makeup in the big bathroom? Um, yes. Okay. I saw it, I was like, ooh. These are some nice brands. Yes. Oh, there's, oh, you're doing a video. Yeah, girl. Oh, am I interrupting? I didn't even see this. <laughs> you didn't see it? Am I interrupting this? I mean, you're here. Do you want to comment? Oh, on? sorry. Can I go in it? Yeah. Say hi. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even know you were recording anything. Uh, I'm sorry. I had no idea. It is all good, love. How are you today? I'm good. <laughs> um, okay. You have a cardboard setup. I yeah. Lo I love that. Well, they don't know that. Oh, yeah, no, you can just meet that up. <laughs> so I'm gonna try Trust Issues. I just swatched it and it looks, it looks green, but in this light, it looks gold, but in some other light, it looks green. Let's put it on our brow bone, yeah. Did they sponsor you? Yeah, this was sent to me for free. Oh. Yeah. Anastasia. Beverly Hills. Do you want a Twizzler? Sure, actually. Did you get that text, what's your favorite food? Yeah, and um, that? that's why I was like, is this what yours? Oh my God, and you got yours is the peelable one? Yeah. Oh my God, yes, bitch. What was your favorite? Um, mine was um, peach rings and Takis. Wait, what are Takis? You don't know what Takis are, girl? No. Those are those, <laughs> um, they're like rolled up chips, but with oh, spicy sauce on it yeah, and limes. Okay. I'm using Urban <laughs> Decay's 24-7 Glide On Pencil in the color Viper. And if you want to know what I look like. You good? Oh, yeah. This is, oh, I almost broke the <laughs> Do you want to tell everybody what your name is? Hi, my name is Keith DiRienzo. Ooh, what do you do, Keith? Oh, I'm an actor. Oh my God, what? Uh, from New York. Do you have any gigs lined up that you can uh, talk about on camera for us? I do, I'm actually in a play about a dead cat. Oh my God. It's like a 10 minute play. Mm-hmm. It's gonna be at a play festival called the Rogue Theater Festival, I think. Mm -hmm. Have you ever been to Palm Springs before? Yeah, there's like a little mountain trolley thing and it takes you up to the mountains and it's like snowing up there. Oh, nice. Yeah, different hemisphere and everything, girl. But yeah, I went to like one of those clothing optional hotels. Uh-huh. And this was for like another little YouTube thing. So it was like oh. more for work and less for like mm. play. I don't know if I was old enough to drink yet. Oh, how old are you now? I'm 26 now. Oh, so this is years ago. Yeah, this was a while ago. So you've been in LA for, or in California for a while. Yeah, a long time. Cool. How about you? How long have you been in New York? Five years. Where were you before that? Uh, Tampa, Florida. Oh yeah, you said Born that. Born and raised. Mm -hmm. yep. How's, how's Miss Tampa? It's good, it's You've heard things about Florida. You've what? You've heard things? Yeah, what so you you're heard? a Florida man. Yeah. Mm. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine. When you're not really fine, but you just... What have you heard? Just think. I want to know. I like I like the the Tampa Bay area. There's a lot of stuff to do. Everyone's very active and outdoorsy. It's nice. I don't think I've ever been to Tampa. Isn't oh. that where they have that one amusement park too? Bush Gardens. Yes, I best, haven't been there. The best amusement park. Is it the best one? Yes, it's it's basically a, a theme park inside of a zoo. I'm what gonna do I my do? liner with Anastasia's liner. I feel like I was in something else at USF. <laughs> okay, girls. We're about to do lashes. You want some? Yeah. What is this? Just like setting spray. Oh, okay, good. Probably water. Maybe I'll be allergic and I'll break out and make the video better. Oh, yeah. And we'll be like- Miles broke me out. And then you can, we'll take Drama. this on the go to the hospital. <laughs> I'm having a very anti-oop moment right now because my balls, girl. I feel kind of bad because I covered most of the shadow with eyeliner. How do you say your last name? J. Miles J. Yeah. All right, we got our lashes on. Hopefully they stay on. I am gonna use um, Jackie Ines old collaboration with Artist Couture in the color La Peach as the highlight. <laughs> oh yes. I can't see what I'm doing, so I hope that looks good. I really feel like we're in Vegas right now. Like it's just a lot. For Blish, I wanna use Pinker and Supreme. I'm just mixing those two together. And we're just gonna go in like that. You see that? You see that? We're blending I do. It. Mm -hmm. I, I'm watching through your mirror as well. Mm. Blend that in with our highlight. Now we lining lips, okay? So if any of y'all want to make him your white boy of the month, um, you know his name. Go look him up. I'm not linking him because this video is about Jackie Island. So 
Sorry. So onto the lips, overlining. Wow, this is nice and melty. I'm gonna use Tardiest in Wannabe. Nice warm brown. And now I'm gonna use Trifle from Sugar Pill and concentrate this on the center of my mouth. And top her off with Buxom Lip Gloss in the color Moscow Mule. This is like my new favorite. It's the one that makes your mouth all tingly and minty. It just feels so good to have on all day and it doesn't do that nasty thing where it gets all gunky and shit all over my mouth. So I'm just gonna go around and I even overline my mouth a little bit with this. All my products right now are hot and it just feels so gross. Doing your makeup in the heat really isn't it. I'm gonna use Anastasia Beverly Hills lip gloss in the color Toffee. This is like a muted peach. It looks so good on me, watch. Oh, oh yeah. So opaque, isn't it? And this gloss works really well on top of Buxom. Ooh, this is the look, guys and gals. while I was editing this that I didn't really go through and give my opinions on this palette. So here we go. Um, favorite ooh, colors automatically is Supreme. It is the perfect pastel on me. Like I said, I really love this color and I'm pretty sure I'm gonna hit pan on this first. I just feel it in my bones. Second favorite obviously would be Pinker. It blends perfectly. I really love all the warm colors in this palette. Um, I've pretty much used all of these colors on the regular, but in different palettes before this palette came out. The colors now that I don't really use are sponsored, like the colors that have a little bit of green in it. It's just not my go-to, it's not my everyday to go to like green. Um, green is probably my least favorite color. You know, we don't have much against her, but I mean, I guess it did used to be like my high school colors, but yeah, maybe I am a little triggered about that. But uh, besides that, you know, I, I do enjoy a, a green from time to time. I did wear it at KCON a little bit, and I actually have to say I did really enjoy that color. Like, it wasn't too much green, you know, it wasn't like, bam, green, but it was like subtle brown green, and I was here for it. I was really here for it. Now, the color I really actually haven't used is Lituation. Um, I normally don't do a dark brown shimmery eye every day but I know I'm gonna use her eventually. Ginger Credit Edges are colors that I use in tandem to create a nice neutral eye. Now before, I had to go into like bronzers and like different contour palettes in order to get this, and now I am glad, I'm so happy that I have just one palette that I can go to for each of the colors that I frequently use, you know, pastel pink, a purple, you know, and some extra colors, okay, extra greens in there to create some different looks the warm browns that I use to create a nice natural warm eye like everything that I need is in this palette if you are dark skin and want a palette that just has most of the necessities in it this is for you plus it has a little bit extra so go ahead go check it out go swatch it or whatever at your nearest Sephora altar because it really is it I'm feeling really good about it I love the green on top it's definitely gonna show green I can tell not a lot of it up there so hopefully it won't be to like in your face. I feel very pretty, very cute. If y'all wanna get the Jackie Anna palette, links in the description, okay? And until next time, it's me, me, Miles J. Thank you so much to Anastasia Beverly Hills for sending me this palette. And until next time, it has been me, Miles J. And I will talk to you guys all later. Bye.